My name is Alexis and I'll be talking about the main themes of the class text, the article Counter-Revolutionary Women, and the documentary The Z Zapatistas. So the main themes of the class text talk about how the attacks, there was attacks that would take place in Nicaragua tar targeting peasant communities and indigenous people. So, um, the Contras would fight against the Sandinista government to preserve indigenous identities and other traditions that the indigenous people would have and kind of force them to change into the mestizo culture. Um, external forces change the dynamic of the indigenous people's traditions and their culture and racism and stereotyping started to become the norm of the indigenous people. The FSLN failed to recognize the traditions and the ways of the indigenous people and they kind of saw them as like childlike and unable to make their own decisions and the FSLN viewed the enemy from their position from before. No. Unlike before, the FSLN was now viewed as the enemy during this time because of their inability to relate to the indigenous people and like their way of culture, where they had to go through like some of the same types of issues in previous wars. These themes relate to the class objectives through social class and race, where Indian workers were unable to obtain higher wages and they remained in the lower class. They also faced discrimination through many groups, the government, the FSLN, by um, unable, like not being able to, um, they weren't able to obtain any crops or like other things like that. And the US support was another main objective through this time where they would supply the revolutionary forces with training, weapons, supplies, and funding. The article Counter-Revolutionary Women relates back to the class text where there's a war going on between the Contra and the Sandinistas and during this time there was a new government that rose to power and that was like led by a lot of women and this article talks about how a lot of the women came together. The article talks about how a new government rose to power that was led by women, which was the Contra or the Resistance. The Contra led the Nicaraguan force in a battle against the National Opposition Union or the UNO led by Violeta Chamorro. During this war, many of the women would face a lot of discrimination against um, like patriarchal standards where a lot of people would not be okay with them leading a lot of these um, groups like the FSLN and like the Sandinistas, but they eventually came together and they, for their families and for their country, and they like stepped up in a desired time of need. These themes relate back to the class objectives where the U.S. would once again aid the Contra and provide Nicaragua government and armies with all of the money and the resources that they would need for the um, war. Patriarchy was also a major theme in this text where like I said, there was like a lot of women who would face discrimination and the patriarchal standards where they were unable to become leaders, were I guess not unable, but they it was more difficult for them to become leaders of many of these organizations. And the 
men were thought to be the people who would lead these things and women were supposed to be in the house taking care of the kids and taking care of their families. And then another main objective was the feminist theories where women would work together in Nicaragua and provide helpful and valuable resources and organizations for the country during the war. The documentary Zapatista talks about the war going on and the fight against the uh, Mexican government versus the indigenous people. And it starts out with the Zapatista National Liberalism Army, EZLN, and how they seized the cities of Mexico in the state of Chiapas, Chiapas. Um, and then it goes on to talk about all of the struggles that the indigenous people would have to overcome and their fight for a place in society and all of their rights and their fight for their traditions and their culture and um, how the, the military and the government would do their best to kind of stop them from all of this because they didn't want them to have a lot of like the resources where um, a lot of these resources came from the the um, the indigenous people and like all of their land but they would get like a very very little share of all of those resources the main objectives of the class relate to this documentary through the racism where once again the indigenous people were treated like objects and they weren't allowed to have many rights or freedom even though they were supposed to have all of that freedom like that was that was the law but they weren't able to get much of that and then once again the u.s aided the the mexican government through the helicopters and the planes that they would use to fight against the indigenous people and of course the money aid that they would for all of the resources that they needed to fight in this war and then authoritarian regimes is also another main objective of this documentary where the Mexican government had power over the indigenous people and they would fight against them for their freedom and the indigenous people obviously were not really supposed to fight back in a lot of these situations but they did anyways because they wanted their freedom and all of their resources for many of the 